I am Signe Waller of Foxworth. On November 3rd, 1979, my husband, Dr. Jim Waller, was one of five people killed in the Greensboro Massacre. We honor their memory by continuing the struggle for racial, social, economic, and environmental justice. Please join us in Greensboro, November 4th through the 7th, or any part of that period, as we look at where we have been and where we must go together down the road to justice and peace, to truth and reconciliation. Thank you. This is the site uh, for the starting point of the anti-Klan rally that was planned by the party. Uh, Jim, Sandy, Bill, Caesar, Mike, uh, all of them were here uh, in order to um, wage a campaign against the Klan, but it was obviously more than that. It was really to uh, fight what they represented. And that's why it was so important to be here among the people. On November 3rd, the, uh, the group had begun to gather for the anti-Klan demonstration. And there were sort of several clusters of people sort of hanging around in the area of the community center there. And it was a very weird thing. Several people mentioned there's no cops. Sandy mentioned that, I remember. Because uh, every demonstration we have, I mean, it's like uh, we have our own personal police force. These cops are on our, are on our case all the time. So uh, it was uh, highly unusual not to have uh, police just crawling all over the place. Shortly after 11, from uh, down at Willow Road, a Klan caravan, you know, pulled on the street. Death to the Klan! Death to the Klan! Death to the Klan! And this fella in the uh, front car looked very familiar. I'd seen him at the police station. It's pretty weird. I later came to know this was Dawson, a Klansman who had been given our permit by the Greensboro police without us being notified. A man with a long barrel pistol. He, he leaned out of the window of the vehicle in front, and he fired it at about a 45 degree angle in the air. When I turned around, all of these people, as if a single signal had been given, lunged out of their cars in the vehicle. There were people laying every place. Caesar was, um, you know, really charged them, took a lot of bullets. There was a huge puddle of blood around Mike. Mike had been hit flush in the we face with uh, the shotgun. It was, uh, it was the most gruesome of all. The very first person I got to was Sandy Smith. Blood was pouring from a hole in her head, and her eyes were open, and she had been shot between the eyes. Jim was uh, laying face down, and I tried to talk to him. Then I saw the bullet hole in his back. So uh, I got up and ran back out here, and uh, still there weren't any policemen here. And the state got together and planned this. That's why there were not no cops here. Do you hear me? The state protects the Klan, and this makes it clear. They came through and they opened fire. They opened fire on us. 1987, the Klan had planned to march in Greensboro. It would have been the first time that they returned to Greensboro since uh, the killings in, in the form of a march.
it was a strange discussion. Um, they, uh, I told them why I was there, uh, that uh, I made the case that, you know, we may understand things very differently, but um, I'm a Christian. I'm taken serious, uh, and I'm trying to love people that uh, have been opposed to me. And he said that, um, you know, you make a point, you know, but uh, if I went back and told the Klan that a nigger communist came down here and we decided to agree with him not to come, we wouldn't uh, have any uh, standing left. He said, so we got to come. When I have had the gift of having a discussion with somebody with whom I disagree, and to doing it in such a way that I um, respected the person. It doesn't mean that everything is equal. Uh, it doesn't mean that uh, perhaps some people are uh, less spiritually developed than others. It does acknowledge the image of God in everybody and holds open the hope and the potential of that growing uh, to a new place. I think forgiveness is often confused uh, in the way it's theologically talked about. So I understand it as having uh, accepted that uh, I am loved by God and I'm very far from perfect, that I carry all of these things in me and that the same God that loves me loves the person that I think is an enemy who also carries the same things. Only in accepting my own flawedness and brokenness could I begin to see and accept that in others. And only having been accepted by the love and the grace of God could I um, open myself to accepting others. He became a bridge and the initiative was on his end. Signa and Alex talked with him for about 20 minutes, and I then joined the conversation at his invitation. He said that um, he had, um, he knew God had forgiven him, but he just couldn't forgive himself, uh, and that he wished so much this had never happened. And so, um, Signe is Jewish, uh, obviously Alex is Jewish, I'm black. Uh, Woods was white and uh, Nazi. So we joined hands in that room and uh, we prayed together. And I um, asked him to um, accept his own forgiveness, that God had forgiven him and that his um, acceptance of that, that none of us can go back and change yesterday, but we thank God that there's tomorrow and that we can live out something new and something different. And that uh, I had uh, forgiven him and I would ask him to forgive me. And we prayed together and it was a moment of grace. Um, it was a moment of grace. And while the wall didn't come down between all the people in his group, in that room the wall came down and the glory of God uh, was experienced uh, by, uh, by all of us. My uh, hope for Greensboro is that this horrific experience, uh, this tragedy, 
and the taking of five lives um, can be transformed uh, by the power of the Spirit into uh, a case where there is more generosity and more justice and more respect for the essence and the dignity of human care. This is Joyce Johnson, urging you to join us November 4th through 7th in Greensboro for the 30th anniversary commemoration of the November 3rd, 1979 tragedy. Come out and help us turn that tragedy into a triumph. Together with my husband, Reverend Nelson Johnson, I urge students and young people, religious leaders and members from the many diverse houses of faith in our city and nation, workers and labor leaders, public officials, business leaders, to join us and Ambassador James Joseph, former U.S. Ambassador to South Africa, as we together shape a brighter future for ourselves. Blessings and peace to you and yours. I'll see you November 4th. Let me ride, keep on a walking, Lord. keep on a talking, Lord. marching up to freedom. Lord. Hang on, I'll let no nervous nearly, Lord. Turn me right, turn me right. Tell me right, keep on.